Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad you could be here with me today. I am Linda Israel, if you didn't know that already. And today I thought I would show you how to make a really quick little card that looks watercolored and has a chipboard element and some rubber stamping. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do make sure that you hit the notification bell up at the top as well. And know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I also have a premiere video Sometimes it's live on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got the Christmas stamp. I have a snowflake from uh, one of my chipboard pieces. I've got two different sets. I've got one that's all snowflaked various chipboard pieces. And then I have another one that I just call Christmas chipboard that happens to have a snowflake like this in it. I need to paint this in order for it to be this beautiful crisp white with the sparkle. So I've got some acrylic paint and I'm using cream. I will shake it up a little bit and I've got a paintbrush here and a scrap of paper. And I'll just come in here and give this a good coat. Because the chipboard is brown, I wanna cover it and my embossing powder that I plan to use to make it sparkly is clear. So by painting it, I'll have a white base for my embossing powder. I'll probably put two to three coats of paint on here. So I'll put one coat, let it dry for a moment, and then add more. I do suggest that you move your chipboard around every once in a while because it can get paint on the backside and then stick to your mop-up paper and then you'll have a big mess because it's all stuck down. To speed up the process, I'll use my heat tool to dry it. It should be nice and dry now. I'm getting another piece of paper and going to lay that down and then get my embossing powder ready and a piece of paper. And what I'll do is I'll use my Versamark ink pad because it's just embossing ink and I just need something to attract the embossing powder. So I'm just gonna smoosh it to my snowflake piece. And then I'll sprinkle the clear glitter embossing powder on top. My little tool to fish it out of there. Tapping off the excess. Let's clean up the embossing powder because we don't want to make a big mess. I've laid my little snowflake chipboard piece onto a piece of, uh, or a, a cookie sheet or a baking pan. It's cheap. I picked up at the dollar store because I have a plastic mat and I don't want to warp it with embossing and you can't really hold the snowflake while it's getting hot because it gets very hot. So now I'm just heating up that embossing powder. It will become shiny and hard. Now this cookie sheet can get hot as well as that little embossed element. So don't touch it, let it draw cool for just a moment or two so you don't end up burning yourself. I've got a little tool, so I'm just gonna pick it up and then set it on my work surface here. I've got a basic card. I, what is this, an A2? So basically it's a eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper folded in half. And then I have a card topper is what I would call this. And it is just under, what is it? Four by five and a quarter. So it just barely fits on there. And what I wanna do is kind of make a little squiggle of tattered angels glimmer mist to give it that effect of a watercolor so i've just got the uh what is this a christmas dream toy soldier it's a pretty shade of blue and i've got a paintbrush so i'm just shaking this up to get that mica flowing and i'll take the lid off i know watch out and whoops i might get the right end of the paintbrush i'm going to dip it into the tattered angels and then i'm just going to kind of paint across, making a little blob, if you will, on my card. All right, I'll put my paintbrush into some water, put the lid back on. All right, so there's my watercolor type effect. I'll use some distress inks and let's go around the edges of both our card topper and our card base. I've got the Christmas stamp and I will ink this up with the uh, archival ink jet black. My words failed me. Archival ink jet black. So I'm just making sure it's got plenty of ink on it. And I'm going to put this in the bottom center. I like it. Set that aside. Let's glue these together. 
I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. I do add a little bit of water to my glue so it's a little bit thinner and comes out a little bit easier. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit. I'm going to set my acrylic block on there for just a moment. And then to adhere down my little snowflake, what I'll do is apply some glue to the back side. So I'm just going to make some little dots. And then I'll use my finger to kind of spread that glue around a little bit. You could also use a paintbrush if you don't want to get your fingers dirty. All right, I'm going to put that somewhat in the center of our little watercolor blob. I'm going to set my block on it, clean my fingers off. And then to add another little dimension to this, I've got some tulip dimensional fabric paint. It's a glitter fabric paint, but I love using it on paper because it's so inexpensive and it works really well. So I'll just come in here and just make some little dots every once in a while to kind of mimic little snowflakes. Yes, it may have little peaks on it whenever you dispense this glitter paint. Just go ahead, go all the way around wherever you want it. And then I'll show you a quick little trip. All right, so once you've got your paint where you want it, if you'll take this and tap it, it'll flatten out those little blobs. You see that, how they just kind of flattened out and they're not peaked up anymore? And then we'll let this dry. My little snowflake isn't quite ready. And then this is what it'll look like. It'll have the little glitter. It'll have a little sparkle on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a quick little tutorial on making a little card that has that watercolor effect to it, but using Tattered Angels Glibber Mist and a chipboard and rubber stamps. If you like this, please again, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Do check the description box below for links for any of the products that I use. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.